Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss how to develop a script to browse lesson. As you recall that we are trying to create a VUGen script for these kind of operations that a normal user is going to do on the Moodle application. All right. And in this video, we are taking care of this steps. And if you if you go to an so the steps alright and then so these are the scenario steps that when a user comes in to read a book he has to log in then he has to randomly choose a course on the home page remember that a user might have uh, enrolled in you know multiple different number of courses right so it's important that he has to randomly choose a course okay and then go to the course page and then inside the course page he will find multiple number of books again he has to randomly choose a book then he spends some time to read the chapter then after that he goes to the he click on the next page and read another chapter so these are the seven steps that is required to be done all right so basically what i'm going to do i'm going to open my virtual user generator and do my default recording so to do that let's go to file and create a new script and the script is uh, like not the the type of the script is http because we because the module and the browser talks in http protocol all right and then let's give the script name as browse underscore lesson and this one is calling us version number one v1 okay and the script is located in let's create our new directory say let's say test scripts okay so in the test script directory i am keeping the uh, you know browse underscore lesson v1 so let's create okay so now i have uh, this is the this is how you're going to uh, so so you have you have you have, you have created the basic framework for that script and then what I'm going to do I'm going to click on record okay notice that I have to record into the v user init action because the first step I'm going to do is a login all right and I have chosen Mozilla Firefox and the URL address that I want to go is localhost slash model so based on whatever you are wherever you have installed your server you have to change it accordingly and let's start recording So as you notice that uh, views and start recording certain uh, views just start recording we have already captured about 54 items at this time okay and now let's click on login and here I will give my username as student1 and the password and then login okay. so now I am into the my course page so the remaining operations as you see after login the other operations I am going to do I am going to do those things in the v user action function okay so let's click on let's choose the action and then what I am going to do I am going to choose a course randomly okay let's see I'm let's say I am going to choose course number 80 okay so this is what is the first step says randomly choose a course then next step is randomly choose a book let's say I'm going to choose book this book right and here what I'm going to do I'm going to wait for some time because this is this book this is, this is a kind of a long it's a, it's a it's a it's a lot of content right I'm not going to basically you know you know click right away this button next to go to the next page next pa next chapter of the book instead I'm just going to spend some time here okay and once I you know spend sufficient amount of time then I'll go to the next thing and that sufficient of time I'll show you how to simulate that one at later point of time okay and then click on next okay so now you see another another chapter so again you spend some time and once you are you know read then you say that go
go to view user end and log the user out okay and that's it we have recorded our script and let's stop recording okay. and then the automatically the correlation library is going to come up and I say that you know the student one is not a things to correlate but however this one if you see the the session key that you can correlate and uh, you can you can you can correlate at later point of time not a big deal and we have already gone through this kind of scenario in, in the in the previous chapters okay so now if you look at your script so this is your default generated script okay and if we look, let's analyze what we got now okay so the first one is that a web URL request and this web URL request is going to this uh, this uh, this web page then we click on the login remember we click on the login uh, button in the top and the equivalent uh, simulation for that is web URL function with a login URL then remember we enter our user data student1 and password and this web submit underscore data is equivalent to entering student1 and welcome1 and clicking that login button okay so this is what it says right and now let's go to action in the action we first go to the course page okay so this is 81 right so if you if you look at this so let's say login login back again and if you look at this course 98 right and just look at this you know this area right whenever I'm hovering on this thing so 90 course number 98 is you know to, to go to course number 98 you have to go to localhost slash module slash course slash view dot php id 99 to go to course number 87 id is 88 and so on so essentially what you are doing by this is you are you know this function is going to do exactly the same thing whatever you are doing by clicking on this item okay so when I click on this item is same as this function and so, so let me click that and let me click any item okay so now I am going to the book page so now remember in the next function is essentially going to the book right so this is the URL to go to book and what is the ID for that the ID for that is 470 okay so the ID for that book you know, whatever book that we, we went is 400 so, so the, the ID so the ID for that book right you say for example here is you're going to 255 so let's go to you know book ID 255 okay and this function essentially taking me to the first chapter of the book ID 470 then if you look at this I'm going to basically you know this thing is going to return me the chapter number the first chapter what is default for that book then here I am basically waiting for some time some time so as you notice that 34 second that that I was waiting for that you know when I record it so that is why it put 34 second but in reality maybe I'll give it let's say I it might take five minutes to read that uh, chapter then I will put here 300 seconds okay so that means after I after I look at my chapter number one I'll wait for 300 second then I'll go to chapter number two so so now if I run this script 100 times 100 times it's going to go after this book ID 81 100 times it's going to go after the, the book ID 470 and 100 times it's going to go after chapter 719 so what my point here is that the default script that you have generated right now is not of any use when I'm going to run the benchmark the reason is that if I run this script as it is it is going to go after the same book same chapter 
and same course so which is probably not what I intended because that is going to give you a false result whenever you do the load test because everything is all the million users that you are going to simulate going to do the same thing okay so how you are going to solve this problem so these are the issues on the default recorded script so the answer is that you are going to customize okay so you are going to customize the script so basically what I'm going to give I'm going to give an exercise here but I will come back and solve this exercise in the next video so so let me just write down what are the problems that I have here So, so let me okay so let me write down the problems and so that you can think about this problem how to solve it and then our then then I'll call I'll come back in my next video and then I'll give you the solution the first problem is that whenever we are so my first problem is that this now whenever you're choosing the course that course should be chosen randomly okay so the course ID should be chosen randomly and then you know what randomly like for example we have right now course from 1 to 100 right so these are the course that we have right now 1 to 100 but I cannot just choose randomly like you know get me course 98 but the problem is that course 98 may not the user 1 whoever is going to log in may not be enrolled to course 98 so therefore don't just do a don't do just do a parameterization by parameterizing the course ID from 1 to 100 and then go after any course that's not going to work because by whatever course so So as you see, here is the problems. The problems we have is that these things need to be parameterized, okay? And then the books need to be parameterized, and similarly the chapters also need to be parameterized. So that is the problem. So the problem is that the default scripts is no of no use until and unless we are solving these problems. Number one, course ID to be parameterized and so as the book ID so as the chapter ID so notice another another thing that a user like you know, we have course from 1 to 100 right so we have 100 courses right now in our system so it is not necessary that user number 1 is enrolled in all one all hundred courses user number one is randomly enrolled in let's say course number 55 45 25 35 and 15 okay however if you are going to parameterize this course ID with a parameter that is number between any random number between 1 to 100 that is going to fail okay so do not parameterize anything from 1 to 100 instead first you have to figure out what courses the user is enrolled and based on the courses that a user is enrolled then choose 
the course for that user if user number 2 comes in then first determine what courses user number 2 is enrolled and based on that randomly choose a course that user number 2 is enrolled okay so therefore do not go blindly creating a uh, basically a, a parameter randomly from 1 to 100 that's not going to work another thing whenever you are going to go to the book id again you can probably query the database you can find the book ids but again remember whatever course that we have browsing in we need to go to the books of that course okay that is very important we need to go to the books of that course similarly whatever chapters that we are going to going to go is going to going to have some connection with the books because the chapter belongs to those books where we have already gone so essentially this problem is very interconnected once you figure out how to parameterize the course then you can figure out all the remaining things but anyway do not worry give it a try and in the next video I will explain it how to do this